630 on this Wednesday morning and we're following breaking overnight news about the terror in Brussels. Police say they've identified two of the attackers that left more than 30 people dead and 230 hurt. Investigators say two suicide bombers at the airport and subway were brothers Khalid and Brahim Bakrui. Now authorities just confirmed they arrested the third suspect who escaped, 24-year-old Najim Lashirawi. Now, investigators say he is the man in the light jacket you see on the right side of this picture right here. And investigators say special forces caught him in a suburb just south of Brussels. Officers believe this surveillance picture also shows the two brothers just before they blew themselves up. Police already knew of the brothers because of past crimes, but not because of terrorism. Rico Bush has this morning's latest developments on the investigation live in our newsroom. And Rico, you just found out a break in the case may have actually come from a taxi driver. Yeah, Katie Lex, in the hours after the attack, authorities say a cab driver contacted police after seeing surveillance video of those three suspects. He told investigators where he picked them up, which led to a raid at an apartment. In the search, police found a bomb-making factory complete with explosives loaded with nails, chemicals, and an Islamic State flag. Here's a look at those horrifying images moments after the explosions rocked the city's airport and subway system. You can see the check-in area filled with smoke, baggage, and strollers left unattended. And through the smoke, a woman grips a child in the corner with screams in the background. A few miles away, more carnage as the explosives blew out subway doors and dozens escaped the darkness in horror. ISIS claim responsibility for those attacks. Police say the suspects engineered the nail-packed bombs for maximum devastation. Lots of people whose hands were covered with blood and uh, everyone is crying and I just, yes, it's the first time I saw such a, such a thing in my life. U.S. intelligence officials believe the same network behind the deadly attacks in Paris are responsible for the Brussels explosions. The group includes operatives who got military training with ISIS in Syria. Again, this morning, police have arrested that third bombing suspect, 24-year-old Najim Lasharari. We are working to learn more about his past. If we get anything, we'll be sure to let you know when Wavy News 10 switches over to Fox 43 at 7 a.m. In a newsroom this morning, I'm Rico Bush, 10 on your side.